Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to bypass the limitations of the emulated GameCube and how to have the best settings for each game. So I'm going to be talking about this version of Dolphin. A couple of settings, which is in config, which is the CPU clock override, which is the main thing we're going to be using. And also graphic settings. So first off, I'm going to talk about this Dolphin version. Basically, it's the same as the newest version, except it has um, advanced features, which is compile shaders on startup and prefetch custom textures, which stops any stuttering while playing. So basically, start by enabling these if you do get this version of Dolphin. To find the best graphics settings for you, you first need to go to graphics and start off with only 1x internal resolution and then bump up from there to see when your FPS drops, if any. I use a GTX 1070 so I can usually push 4x, but today we're going to use SSX Tricky, which isn't optimized very well for the GameCube, so we're only going to use 2.5. So basically the best way to find the best settings for each game is to go to the wiki for Dolphin, which is right here. Just search the game name and then Dolphin, or just go to the website and search it. Basically what this is showing is that we need to turn dual core and just transfer rate off. And I'm going to show you why I don't use these, but usually this is pretty accurate and uh, I usually use the settings that are shown here. So to use these settings you go to properties and then you would disable them, which you would just turn them off here. Now this is default if you just have the black square. And then if it's blank, it's disabled, checked, if it's enabled. Basically, these blank ones are default, so the defaults are just in here. So it just converts back to this. Now I'm going to keep these enabled, especially the speed up disk transfer rate, because this allows the load times to be much, much faster, which you'll see uh, here in a second. So like I said, I'm going to keep these enabled. You can go to edit user config and then these will be in here for you. Like I was talking about earlier, the internal resolution, you, go, you can go ahead and put this in your config so that uh, the game just loads up with the settings already instead of you having to mess with it. So this version of Dolphin uses EFB scale for uh, this setting. If you don't know what any of this means, you can go to the guide and it'll show you uh, basically this talks about how the EFB scale is the internal resolution. It says choosing internal resolution. Basically it's saying use video settings and then the EFB scale. We're going to use 2.5 for SSX Tricky so you just go ahead and copy video settings and then EFB scale 5. So I already did that, it's already in here. So video settings, which is basically the definition of it, and then the uh, the text down here below and you just save it exit out and now every time you load up the game it's going to use those settings now i'm going to show you how the uh, gamecube has its limitations and how in ssx tricky it drops down to 30 which it also does this on the actual gamecube <clears throat> because of its limitations so to fix this we're going to be using emulated uh, CPU clock overdrive, but I'm going to go ahead and disable this just to show you the FPS drops here. Basically I'm just going to crash and then just let all the computers pass me. See, it's already dropped down to 30. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use the overclock. So go ahead and enable this. It's uh, default on 100. I use 400. It usually isn't that demanding on your computer. The only reason my GPU is at 50% is because of uh, I'm recording right now. Usually the GPU and CPU is down to around 10% uh, when I'm not recording. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how there's no FPS drops with this overclock. Go ahead and crash, let them all pass me. No drops. PFPS. Also right here it usually drops down and it doesn't drop down at all. Save 60 FPS. So basically it's completely fixed. So I'm gonna leave all the links down below for these. 
Basically an overview of what we used is this custom version of Dolphin which allowed us to preload the shaders and textures so we have no hiccups in the game. We found the best graphic settings that doesn't take our FPS. We used a custom INI so the game loads with the right settings without having to mess with them. And we used this guide to do so. We also used the Dolphin Wiki to find the best settings for the game. And the most important thing is in the config where we use the emulated CPU overclock, which we use to override the limitations of the GameCube. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and thanks for watching.